screw that guy, whoever it was, uh, whoever you are, if you find your way in your video, you suck big hairy nuts and go suck a f Learn to drive in a straight line, stop blocking people, especially for 12th in the middle of the race. No one f cares. It's Forza. Chill the f out. What is up, guys? Welcome in. My name is Nick, and welcome to the channel. And you join me today once again in Forza. As you probably noticed, it's going to be a little bit of a spicy one. Um, I let my temper go a little bit well as much as i generally do i don't want for chatting and screaming but i am one to use creative insults and uh f-bombs so yeah it's um the honda civic around the brands a uh, lot for what is now last week's races so i wanted to try i did the gt with the janetta i thought i wanted to try the touring cars before that reset so i jumped in did this very last race before the reset and um yeah it gets a bit heated Yes, guys, you join me once again at Brands Hatch. We are literally catching the last race before the reset. It is currently eight minutes to midnight on Wednesday evening. Just wanted to make sure I get to take the touring cars around Brands before the whole track reset happens in about 20 minutes. So, yeah, what could be more quintessential than a British touring car liveried Honda Civic? And what better Honda Civic livery to put than the Team Dynamic Gordon Shed and livery? As designed by my good friend Despicable Me, do go and find this design if you like the look of it, or go and find anything else in terms of touring car designs because he is fantastic. So we're going to go out to a few couple, uh, few bits of practice lap, get a fiddle with the tune because I've not been in the Civic for a long time, and hopefully we'll have a good race. Okay, guys, so got practice in lap one of our three laps of qualifying. Let's give this one a go. Never break in the same spot twice coming through paddock. There we go, sped up. Oh, I could have braked later there. Not the greatest to run. So wasn't the greatest run onto the main straight here. Oh, that was messy. This is difficult to spot in the Civic. Like that, very wide there, a lot of time given up. That was better. Okay, we'll call that one a mulligan. That was our warm up. Felt okay. Slower though. Whoa, back trying to overtake the front there. I don't think I've got the gear in quite right. There's a lot of corners here where it's fighting to be in one or the other. That felt better. Using a bit more track there as well. Break too early this time. Much better run through there, though. Found a little bit of time. Uh, it's okay run onto the start-finish straight, but not the best I've had. 
Right, final attempt. One more. Uh, felt much better coming through paddock that time. Bit slow on throttle. Slow coming out of droids. Leaving third this time. Found half a second there. That was not a good run onto the back straight though. Still gain time though. Could be on for a good lap. Taking liberties with the grass there. The ghost completely messing me up. I hate the ghosts in this goddamn game. Too much? Oh no, just the right amount. But I bailed out on it thinking I'd cut too much. Pretty much an exact lap, for the same as my last time. We can carry a little bit more speed through there. Don't think we're going to get an improvement though. Which means we're going to be solidly in the midfield at 33.6. Yep. 33.580. Well Not great. Not great at all, Bob. There was uh, possibly a 32 one. I mean, I'm, I am in the, the Civic, so it's not the fastest of cars. At least I don't think it's pretty good i don't i mean i don't know what the meta is now so it could have been a potentially a high 32s so realistic there's only another couple of positions in it based on where we are now but we'll jump to the race and we'll see how that one goes right guys so we did hold on to p8 after everyone had put their time in uh we're going to try doing the mediums for the first stint see how long they last sometimes you can get away with a medium soft on the civic i don't really know enough about the current meta or brands hatch and how much it chews tires but we'll see how long the mediums last for i think i got about six or seven laps out of them in practice so we might just be able to stretch it to a medium soft but we'll start medium see how we go um, we are at the back of sort of the mid upper midfield i think in terms of time the guy behind us qualified a second behind us um, people in front of us have come by about a second and there's another second gap to the front runners so who knows let's see how how this one goes okay starting on the inside so that's better than the outside lots of wheel spin but we're away someone apparently dc because we started p7 that p8 we're getting bumped by people behind us keep it on the inside we might be able to get something up into druids no nope. okay the golf just driving as if i'm not there oh we have a lavorg in front of us very interesting got a ghost of car just gonna make use of that thank you very much Lots of dust being kicked up, but everyone seems to be driving in a straight line. We've got lots of headlights behind us. Right behind me, got a massive run coming out of the corner. But it's been lent on hard by an Audi. Oh god, the golf braked really early there, Jesus. Very fast running out of directly behind me now. Yep, Audi, I can't really get on the throttle when there's a car in front of me, so thank you for driving into the back of me though. I'm gonna have to break super early. So I've got a much tighter line through Paddock Hill. Are they both going off? No, oh Jesus Christ, that Audi started coming to the right right at the very end there. 
Yeah, you, this is what happens when you chop. When you chop. Okay, thank, thank you. Yep, yeah, thank you. You changed your line through the corner, my friend. And then I had a golf drive into the back of me. So I don't know what you expected me to do. But thank you very much for that. So, this is now a recovery drive. We've got much better run than the Peugeot up main straight here if he doesn't weave, which he is doing. Getting chopped again. People just don't know how to carry a line through a corner. Nope, you're weaving again. No, you're weaving again. You're weaving again. Oh my god. Drive. Why can't people drive in a fucking straight line? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I, I, I get the avoidable contact when I'm the one who's trying to stay on track. I'm the one that's being driven into. I'm on the left, on the outside of a right-hander, and I get the penalty because I'm the one that's trying to stay on the track. Thank you for that. Well, this is meant to be a nice, fun celebration of touring cars around Brands Hatch, but instead it's just people not knowing how to fucking drive and how to race and leaving space and fighting hard for 13th. Whatever. It is what it is, isn't it, at the end of the day? If that's the way you want to do this, fine. It's touring cars. Yes, but that doesn't mean you run someone off the track. Look at me, someone actually left space and maintained a racing line. Jesus Christ, thank you very much. Restoring my faith. So uh, I, I don't quite know what I did to get a 2.25 second penalty there. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything that I've done. I was just fighting to stay on track from, my, from what I could see. And the guy in front was just weaving to block me. Because, you know, it's really, really important that you hold on to 10th place in the middle of the race. Vital. Absolutely fucking vital. Oh, 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 no. No, okay, thank you for that. No, I'm here. Use your arrows, use your mirrors. Like that, see? I knew you were there, that's why I let you go. bit hot into that corner but we made it work all right do we try up the inside of Hawthorns probably I think we've got enough straight line speed. We don't. Okay, the guy conceded the inside. Thank you very much for that. How are we looking on tyres? Tyres about halfway through, we're on lap four. Okay, so it's going to be a medium, medium. I need to stop thinking about tyres and continue actually racing. Thank you for that position. So, probably going to need to pit the end of this lap.
Oh, we've got the Weaver. Okay, he just is apparently just taking people out. Cool, that's good to know. Glad he's behind us in the gravel. Right, minor tire wear lap five. Probably going to be moderate tap, uh, tire wear by the end of next lap. So probably going to pit now just to make sure we don't have an accident. That means we've done five laps on each set. So at this point I realise I don't actually remember how the pit lane works at Brands. At least not in Forza. So yeah, this could be interesting. Can I just go straight in? Okay, I can, good. We go for another set of mediums. Pretty sure the fuel glitch has been patched, but we'll check it. Yep, yeah, fuel has been patched. Cool. God, my car is looking a bit bashed, isn't it? We have been in the war some. see how the second half of the race goes now we've managed to recover a bit we're now back inside well we were in the top 10 before we pitted so we should hopefully be back inside it once the other people who haven't pit yet do pit got a bit of a comfortable gap to the guy behind me guy in front of me is the guy who qualified in front of me so he's had an equally vicious race I think the only thing that does concern me is we might be behind the guy who is just ramming people so hopefully he's going to pit before I get to him Back inside top 10. Increasing the gap. I see the guy behind us, so that's good. I don't know if there's going to be much left to find. I think all the craziness has happened. Least of all with a two, nearly two and a half second penalty as well. getting dropped from the guy in front so we may be in a little bit of no man's land at the moment Three 
No. That's not what we need. That is not not the way. And now I've got to repair the damage I just did to the guy behind me. Although it looks like he's also gone off paddock hill. The guy in front also appears to have swapped positions and is closer. So if I hadn't had an accident through paddock hill, like a complete special, we might have actually been looking at something. sign in the middle of the track, that's useful, thank you for that. Oh, what? I run wide onto the grass, I'm slower down the straight and that warrants another half second penalty, does it? Okay. Oh, someone's gone off Paddock Hill. and is doing a very interesting rejoin. Ooh, very deep, not locked up. Well, looks like we might have an interesting end to this race here. Well, not really, I've got a master penalty, so this guy actually doesn't need to be in front of me. He could just be close to me and we'll still get the position because you know fun penalty system there. Don't go wide there because that's worth a penalty apparently. Someone else is off. I'm going to keep it low just in case they don't know how to rejoin. They did but that's still good for me. He also has a penalty so we don't have to worry too much about him. I don't think we're going to get anything more out of this, but we will give it our all. Tyre's good, fuel's good. Mine the tyre, wherever that is, nothing to worry about. I don't really feel much of a difference in grip when it switches to minor. It's the major you got to worry, or moderate you got to worry about. corner this time but it's not going to be enough unless this guy has a massive instant coming back onto the start finish straight it is going to be a p9 and he does not so that is p9 that was uh, yeah that was that certainly was Screw that guy, whoever it was, uh, whoever you are, if you find your way in your video, you suck big hairy nuts and go suck a fuck. Learn to drive in a straight line, stop blocking people, especially for 12th in the middle of the race. No one fucking cares. It's Forza, chill the fuck out.
But yeah, this has been Brands Hatch. I got two very undeserved penalties. Um, I had fun because I was in a Honda Civic and I was a Brands Hatch. And I love Brands Hatch and I love the Honda Civic. But yeah, mildly infuriating. It's uh, Racing standards in this one were a bit questionable. The Lavorg managed to do well. He managed to make, make it through without pitting. So well done to that lad. Um, highest graded Civic. I guess we'll take that as a win. But... Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, drop me a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more in the future, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.